Download the free practice worksheet on this topic or take a practice quiz at mathcation.com. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to another awesome math video from Mathcation. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to find the circumference of a circle. As you can see, we have three important things to remember when finding the circumference of a circle. First, you need to know the formula for circumference of a circle is area equals 2 times pi times r. Now, r in this case is the length of the radius. And the radius of a circle is the distance from the center of that circle out to the edge of the circle. This right here is what's known as radius. Sometimes you'll get a circle that gives you the length across the entire circle. And in this case, this is called the diameter. If you're given the diameter, you have to convert it to radius. The way you do this is you take whatever the diameter is and you will divide it by two. That's because diameter is the whole length of the circle and radius is just half. After you know the radius, whether it's given to you in the problem or whether you change diameter to radius, you can multiply by two and then by pi, and that will give you the answer. And if you're learning anything right now, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on other helpful math videos. Let's go ahead and jump down to our first practice problem. This problem gives us a circle and you can see we have a dotted line here running from the center of the circle out to the edge and it's labeled with four feet. Now because it's from the center out to the edge, this is going to be the radius. So I know that four feet is equal to r is equal to the radius. To find the circumference, we're gonna use our formula. Circumference equals two times pi times r. We know that the radius is four feet. So I'm gonna replace the r with four. And then I'm going to multiply. I'm going to go to my calculator and I'm going to put 2 times pi times 4 and I will get 25.13. Our units are feet, so it's going to be 25.13 feet. The circumference of the circle is going to be equal to 25.13 feet. Let's move on to our next practice problem. This problem on finding circumference of a circle gives us, again gives us a circle with a dashed line from the center to the outer edge. This time, it is labeled with five inches. Now I know that from the center to the edge is gonna be the radius. So I know this five is going to be R. And then I can just use my circumference of a circle formula, which is two times pi times R to find the circumference. Circumference equals two times pi and then the radius in this case is five. So I'm gonna go ahead and put a five in for r. Then I'm gonna to go to my calculator and punch in two times pi times five. And when I do that, I will get 31.42 and it's inches. So our units is gonna be inches. So the circumference of this circle is 31.42 inches. Finally, moving on to our last practice problem. This problem gives us another circle this time our dashed line runs across the entire length of the circle and is labeled with 22 centimeters now because it's the entire length of the circle that's going to be the diameter so the diameter is 22 centimeters we have to change this into radius now remember radius runs from the center to the edge so it's one half of the circle or one half of the diameter which means all we have to do is take our diameter, which is 22, and divide it by 2 because radius is one half of the length. So radius in this case will be 11 centimeters is going to equal r. Then I just go back to my circumference of a circle formula, which is 2 times pi times r. And I will take our radius, which is 11, and I will substitute it in for r. And then I'll go to my calculator and type in 2 times pi times 11, and I will get 69.11, and our units are centimeters, so it's going to be 69.11 centimeters for the diameter of this circle. And if you want to do some more practice on finding circumference of a circle, go ahead and click the link in the top right corner of your video to do some practice questions that will give you a grade based on how you did. Thank you so much for watching. Please like this video if you got something out of it. 
and drop a comment telling me this video helped you or if you need help with something else. See ya!